Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where you join me with such a big smile on my face because the technical analysis I'm going to be giving you today is, is making me very happy. I'll just say that and I really believe it's going to make you very happy too. Why? Because we're going to be going through some of the order flow, things you need to be looking out for as it's happening on the time on Bitcoin. We'll look at the recent low on Bitcoin, a long position that I am in right now on Bitcoin, the targets for this long position, the resistance that we are at right now. I'm basically going to be giving you all of the information that you need right now to be trading Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, so let's get into what we love. We love it. It's trading Bitcoin. It's doing our TA and let's just go right now. Uh, so yeah, as, as I always stress, I always, this is so important to me from right down into my heart. This is important. We can never come over and start trading with no technical analysis done. You see this chart that we have right now. How could have we identified this high? How could have we identified this low before it happened? How could we identify some of the resistances that we're hitting into at the moment? Well, without doing any technical analysis, it is neon impossible to ever predict where price is going to be going next unless you are a 50-50 gambler. Because yes, price can go up, down or sideways, of course, and that's always going to be the case. But if we're looking for precision, we're looking for consistency, and we're looking to actually take this with high probabilities, then we need to add on our technical analysis. And I'm going to add on some technical analysis here, and I'm going to bring this chart to life. At the moment, this is a random chart with random pivots. Let's add on the technical analysis, and let's show the power of TA. Boom. What we can see here, we now have that daily level. If you remember correctly, we rejected from that daily level, which was given two weeks in advance to the absolute dollar. After that, we come back down, we retested the CC. That was the time for myself and others to take short positions. Had a first target at $21,000. We had this lower level around 19,200 being a lower weekly level. So of course, we can see now has provided a bounce. I wanna give you a few different insights here into what I'm looking at at the time as it's happening. Okay, so you can see here, this was talked about back on the 11th when I was reminding my team, must watch this Champions live stream. I've gone over all the juicy details, everything you need to know. In that, I was obviously in a short position and I had two key levels back on the 11th for the psychological and basically that weekly 19200. Okay, so we can see already, while we're still trading above $20,000, I'm recognizing the important levels to the downside. I know I'm short. I know I have no interest in longs at the moment. I know I'm waiting for lower. The levels I'm waiting for lower are very easily defined, okay? We always have to acknowledge what would be a sign of strength. We never got that in the end. So I'm still in those short positions waiting for lower on the Bitcoin chart, clearly defined weekly level here. And actually, I want to show you why I was talking down to around 18,400. This is the zone, weekly to 18,400. Why was that? Well, you can see here what I was looking at in that Champions live stream. We basically had this fixed range tool. And down from 19200 POC to $18,800 was this value area low. We get acceptance into here. We're looking for the POC to 18800 value area low. Let me just show you the power of this value area low and the support that it held, remembering that you're also taking a series of lows and liquidity. Well, this is the exact same pull. We got the acceptance. You can see here the prediction lose the value area high, back test as resistance, short, and get the drop. This is how it occurred. We actually got the acceptance, we back tested it as resistance, and we dropped all the way to the value area low there at 18,800. So you can really see, nobody in the world can ever tell me technical analysis doesn't work. No one can tell me you can't predict what's going to be happening next, because you can see it right in front of your eyes. This was the live stream from the champions on Sunday, where we're laying out the plan. I'm giving my highest probabilities and I'm giving my thoughts on what's going to occur. I said, I like the high. I'm in a short position. And you know, the key for me is the weekly. In the end, we bounce here, you can see it right in front of you, that value area low. And I'm not doing this video to brag. I'm not, I, I don't care about bragging. I'm just here to show you this is, the, this is what you need to know. Like this information you can see for yourself is just absolutely crucial. Imagine you had this laid out in front of you. Imagine you see me continuously saying I'm in short positions, waiting for these lower levels. You're probably going to think, mm, you know, <laughs> this guy has a pretty good track record. Let's see what happens. And of course, it actually went pretty exactly as predicted. As we come all the way down after getting the acceptance in value area high, bouncing off the value area low, and then this was the magic. Look at this on a lower term time frame, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we'll come down here. 
and I will show you this and you're going to be absolutely outstanding. After coming down, okay, we th find this thing, thing known as a failed auction. I'm going to explain this in a little bit more depth. But basically, we come down, we hit that value area low. Okay, so let me explain this. I really want you to understand. I truly do. We come down, we hit the value area low. We form a mini SR flip of the weekly level. Okay, this is known as our failed auction. We get through that and then this was the powerful the, this was what was powerful that happens. We then come back above the level and we retested that weekly. So we once again have then seen resistance back into support. And what was so powerful about this, okay? So this is so crucial that you understand. We have at this time lost the weekly, but we've still got the value area low of support. We then back test the weekly as resistance, get another small rejection on the 30 minute time frame. Then we come work up with our low, high, higher low, higher high, back test the weekly, Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. We've clearly changed market structure. We've seen a failed auction. We've seen the weekly being reclaimed. But not only that, ladies and gentlemen, not only that, we saw another powerful piece in the puzzle, and that's when we look at the order flow. So while this failed auction was happening, what happened here? Well, look at this. 30 million over, when you look at the next candle, over 30 million new shorts have opened. Over 30 million new shorts have opened at that low of the failed auction. Once we have then seen the reclaim, this market structure change, the odds are definitely changing. The odds are definitely going higher. Why is that? Well, a few reasons. We come down, we've hit major targets. We've seen a failed auction off the value area low. We've seen 30 million new shorts opening at support. They are now trapped upon that market structure change. Okay, what do we need to do as traders? We need to react. We need to acknowledge, hey, this is a really good opportunity for a long now. Why is that? Well, I want to emphasize it one more time. The targets of our short have been hit. We have seen a failed auction at the lows. We have seen 30 million new shorts trapped. Targets hit, order flow agrees. What else are we waiting for? There was one more thing you could have been waiting for, and that was the alert that I also gave with the Champions live stream for the ES. ES came down to our major target, 3,732 points. This was our major level on the ES. If you remember from the Champions live stream, I gave you a fractal. Yes, that fractal was very nice indeed. Still in play, by the way, that fractal. Uh, but I, 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 the ES playing in there with Bitcoin, ES was hitting our target. And Bitcoin, obviously, you know, influenced by the ES, they, they rose together there. So that's allowed me to talk you through what happened down here, why we got the bounce. I now want to focus on what we're at right now. You can see, well, hopefully you can remember, 21,000 weekly. As I told you, I am in a long position. That does not mean I would open a long right now. You have to remember my long was opened at support. I'm already in nice profits. I would not be looking to open a long here. Why? Because we have 21,000 weekly and just above us we have the CC, 21,600 we have more resistance. So we're definitely into a resistance zone right now. Although I am long, personally I'm looking for higher I would not jump into a long right now because we are at weekly we are at that old weekly 21,000 resistance like it's not generally a good idea to do this okay so what we would be looking at now is acknowledging we are at resistance right now can resistance be broken yes what we'd be looking for is something like down here that resistance temporarily flipped from resistance broken back tested as support so we could be looking for the same up here and just as this once we lost we have bounced off the value area alone if we look if we break through this weekly and hold it we've still got this cc above us 21600 previous week point of control so we definitely have a few levels of resistance above us. If we get above that previous weak point of control, I will be looking for new highs on the Bitcoin chart. But if we are unable to reclaim those levels, if we simply reject here, change our market structure, I will say, hey, now we're going to be looking for our lower levels. And I've actually got in mind the, the daily naked point of control uh, would be my level to the downside right now, the daily naked point of control. Of course, on the local term time frame, we could be looking at things such as the VWAP. But for me, um, yeah, that daily naked point of control would be a lower target should we lose the VWAP, should we start to break down from that um, daily open. Yeah, the daily open for me was also a key level today. So these are a few levels that you can obviously record and write down and see the daily open here. Okay, so a few few key levels for me there. Uh, should we change market structure and start to break down here? So you can see I'm very relaxed. I'm very open to acknowledging, hey, yeah, price can always go up, down, and sideways. I acknowledge that. I know that. <laughs> okay, I'm only interested in taking a trade when I have a high probability trading setup. Okay, e.g., I'm ready and aware of the levels before they've hit. I know exactly what I'm looking for. And then <laughs> we see it coming, exactly what we're looking for. You know, then there's no hesitation. You know, why do most people fail in trading? Well, they don't have a plan. They don't have any confidence. 
Okay, how do you gain confidence? Well, continuously doing ideas like this and seeing them play out exactly as predicted. You can imagine that gives me myself great confidence. The people that are following me probably have great confidence in my ideas because they're seeing it time and time again. Wow, this, this is actually pretty, pretty well respected, these levels, right? Um, and at the end of the day, all you need to do is learn the technical analysis that we teach, empower yourself, integrate this into your own trading system, and you can be following along with me doing the same trades that I'm taking, you know? Um, and I actually want to end here with, I actually, I want to, I want to, yeah, I'd like to just mention a few things that, and this is important from a community standpoint and just, yeah, it's really nice. I, I we've never done this before, by the way, what we're going to be doing. And I think it's really nice. I, I, I hope that, that you like it. But a few, first of all, I want to just talk really briefly about these two messages and just giving back and just acknowledging what people are saying. And, you know, it gives me a big smile, so I'm going to love to repeat it. Dude, I love you, man. You are a stranger and I love you. Thank you for dedicating your time and to your passion, a passion that has already brought you riches, and yet you decide to turn it into wealth by sharing it with all those who dedicate themselves to the Chart Champions University. My man. Thank you, Dan, you and Chart Champions, for all your content. I have been studying every video you uploaded, even from years ago, all day, every day. I've learned so much, and you guys changed my life, and I'm trading so dearly grateful. Thank you, Chart Champions team and myself. Like These messages, you know, of course, they bring a big smile to myself, really warm my heart. I, these are the type of messages I love. And I, I, what I actually really loved about this message was the, the, the words that the guys meant. You know, I've already made the riches, but I'm turning it into wealth by sharing it back. And I think that was just something that really felt like, hey, this, this, is, this is a really nice saying. But um, yeah, I just wanted to start off by saying, yeah, thank you for all the warm messages. You know, I really appreciate every single message that I receive. I'm always out here reading, reading everything that comes in and, and you know, I, I truly, truly appreciate it. I love the support and, I, and, I, and I'm here to help you at the end of the day. So to see that it is really helping is, you know, that, that's, that's, the, that's the aim of the game that I'm in. And uh, yeah, what I can say is thank you. And I'd actually like to thus move on to a special message that we have here. And uh, yeah, all, all we want to do is give a really big shout out to Trent Yates. Uh, this is Trent Yates right here. And it's actually his birthday today. And we had a, we actually had his wife, Celine, reach out to us at CC Pool. And she was explaining to us that he's really committed to becoming a trader. And of course, now Trent is a really valued Chart Champions member. So basically, from myself and all of the CC Pool team, we just want to wish you a very, very, very happy birthday. Um, you know, we hope that you're really excited for all the gains that are coming your way along your trading journey. Remember, my friend, it is a long path. Nothing's going to happen overnight, but I can tell you are committed. You've got a family that's helping you out. And uh, yeah, happy birthday. CC Pool send you their regards. Send their birthday wishes. It's like the CC Pool send their birthday wishes. That's probably a little bit better. We don't want any red wedding type things here. So uh, yeah. Thank you, Celine, for reaching out to us. Trent, we really wish you a very happy birthday. And yeah, good luck from all of us at Chart Champions and CC Pool. Um, have a great one, my friends. And yeah, that was the first time we've, we've had someone reach out for that. And I just want to say, yeah, that, that made us smile. That gave, that gave, you know, it's just that warm family feeling that I truly don't want to lose. So yeah, thank you to everybody, I suppose, in the community. Have a brilliant day. I've told you my levels. I've told you, you why would we're pulling back from where we are, that weekly level. I've told you the levels above us with this CC, previous week point of control, view out below us, um, daily open for me key, Lose that, the daily naked point of control. Talk to you through the order flow, what we're looking for. Look at these trap traders and, um, you know, follow the plans because that one really there went exactly as predicted, even with the back test, with the value area low coming in there as support. That's calling highs, that's calling lows, and that's how CC Pool do it. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Oh, I suppose I'll end with this. No financial advice, as always. This is just an entertainment educational video. No financial advice. And cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.